There is great power to be found in rethinking the way we think, to really think about what we're thinking about, and to ask ourselves why if it's not in the high Christ standard. Today is the tomorrow we worried about yesterday. It's one of the famous quotes that I ask you to ponder. So many people worry their way through life, crawling their way through the day. In Psalms 55, verse 22, it says, Give your worries to the Lord, and God will take over and care for you. God will never let good people down. God will not let you down either, unless in your free will you let yourself down. And you do that first in your thinking. Because life is sometimes difficult, and because of that, understandably, we have fears about an uncertain future, and when we have fears about an uncertain future, we begin to worry. And over time, that worry can become a habit that is out of control. At times, we may fret over the countless details that are involved in the business of living. We may worry about our relationships, our finances, our health, or any number of potential problems, some of which we invent in our own minds, some large, some small. If you're a worrier by nature, begin this day by rethinking the way you think. Say, God, help me. I want to rethink the way I think. And perhaps you have formed the, uh, the unfortunate habit of spending too little time counting your blessings. Many people have not counted their blessings for years. That's why we started the Gratitude to God system that is so successful. If you're that type of person, take your worries to God and say, God, here it is. You know, just this morning, I took all my trash out to the curb, and it's an amazing thing. A big truck comes by and picks up the trash. Thank God. Otherwise, our house would be overflowing and unlivable. Well, sometimes our minds get that way too, my friend. We have to take out the trash, and we take it to God. And we say, God, please help me take this from me and leave it with God. And as you do, I believe you're doing God's will. God will cause a great dialysis to happen in you. The purity of God will come back in you. Instead of the rethought of continuously and rethought of again debris. Trust God to take care of you. And when you do, your burdens, every moment of every day will become lighter, and your day and your future will become brighter, first in your own mind and then in manifestation and demonstration. God is looking out for you. So I ask you this day to trust God. Trust God not in a generic way that we often talk about in religion. Trust God in a very tangible way in your own personal life by trusting, trusting God with your life. And because you know that God has promised to never let you down. I wish you those kind of blessings today as you rethink the way you think.